Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl who's not gonna win here, back with my Sailor Moon, another story let's play. Last time, we finished up Beitan's story, which ended kind of tragically for Rey, but in the long run, she did manage to get the Keystone, which is the main thing she was after. And then we began Mapachan's story. And she actually ran into a cute guy who smelled her cooking while she was out camping, ready to look for the keystone the next day. And he escorted us here to his village. And we're free to explore, I guess. He, on the other hand, went to look something up in the village literature. So yeah, let's explore this place a little bit. It's very nice. Now, I could have sworn that there were puzzle pieces in this village. Pretty sure. Could be wrong, though. Okay. I must be, because I would have run into some by now, I think. Well, I do know where one is that probably not many of you have found. So, I may as well show that to you guys. This music's pretty fun. I like it. Just casual, fun theme. Aha, here we are. Alright. Now, go into the forest. Look for that stump, and what do you know? There's a passage right through the trees. And who's this? What? what? You want a puzzle piece? Okay, here you go. And there you have it. Don't know how many people have found that, but that's one of the puzzle pieces. Of course, enemy. Anyway, oh, good eye key. I recognize these two actually. Makeup gal. Good eye key is the one from. Oh, I don't know the Japanese title. I know the title in the deep dub of the episode is um, "Trouble Comes Thundering In." I think. Thundering down or something like that. It's the episode where Chibi is, uh, is frightened by this thing, by thunder. So you will pay for that. And the other one, Makeup Gal, I know, I think from the episode right after Usagi and Mamoru broke up. But anyway, let's see. No? What? Which one? Jupiter. Aha! Coconut Cyclone! There we go. I don't think she ever uses that attack in the series. That is actually an attack from the manga, I believe. But anyway, yeah. That was fun, and that was the puzzle piece required for you to complete the puzzle if you want to get the reward at the end. Now, I wonder where that guy's house is. Huh. This one, I'm guessing, but I'm just checking, double checking for puzzle pieces. Because I seriously could have sworn that there were some in this village, but maybe I'm thinking of the next place we gotta go, maybe? But yeah, I'm guessing his house is this one. Seems to be the biggest. Oh, hello. Why do all the girls in this village refuse to talk to me? Because you become George San's bride. Bride? Oh dear. Huh? There must be some mistake. I think he's a really cool guy and all, but I could never be his bride. That's just. <laughs> so, is George San getting married to that other girl? Or other person? That other person? Does George San have a lover? Yes. Oh, uh, what bad luck. Is it hopeless for me again this time? Yeah, I'm not going to dreaming of love. But the village chief disapproves of the match. Who's George San's lover? A girl from the neighboring village called Mary. Mary is the daughter of that village chief as well. Only, we've had a falling out with the neighboring village. And it seems that those two's marriage will never happen. Huh, really? I want to help those guys get back together. The girls from the village want to as well, but... You do nothing. 
The marriage between George, son, and Mary isn't a good idea, I think. Uh-huh. I'm sure I know why you think that. Huh. What could be up here? Oh, there he is. George. That's your name. Uh, Mary. I knew her for three years, but we're not friends with that village anymore. It'd be great if there were a way to reconcile, but... Where's the neighboring village? It's towards the east, but... Are you going to go see Mary? Ah, I'm bringing you guys back together. Don't wait up for me, though. And what's back here, I wonder? Hello? George-san wants to marry that girl from the other village. I completely forbid it. Oh, you must be his dad, the chief. <laughs> we'll see about that, though. Looks like Maka-chan is now on a mission of love. So, let's not dilly-dally around. So. Back to the forest. I remember that's where it is. The next village. Da, 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 da. There it is. Past where the puzzle piece was. Pretty cool forest, though. And no one... I jinxed it. I was about to say no enemies. And here they are. Find it. Coconut, take gone. Get rid of us. <laughs> Don't mess with Jupiter. Strongest of the Sailor Senshi, physically anyway. But the ones with the purest hearts, I have to say, as another enemy appears, would have to be Usagi and Chibi Yusuf. And... There you go. <laughs> Okay, looks like we're here. This is Mishi Village. Yes, it is. So Mishi and Midia's village. Okay. Now, I know for a fact there are puzzle pieces here. Aha! Speaking of which. Uh, any here? No? Well, that's surprising. Uh, hmm. I'm sure there are more around here somewhere. Check every barrel. Aha! Knew there was one. Now, I thought there might be... I faintly remember there being one inside one of these places. But I could be wrong. Huh. I might be remembering wrong. Hmm. Any other barrels or anything to check before I move on? And that's the one I checked already. Let's see. Aha! I wasn't crazy. You know what, let me check the other pots in here, just to be sure. But I do remember only there being one, so, okay. I was right. I knew it. I think that's all the puzzle pieces. So there you go. There are a pretty good amount of them in this story. Ah, hi. We don't talk with people from Medias Village. Whoa. Leave Mishi Village immediately. Rude much? What? Why? What in the world? That was seriously rude. Huh. Pendant? Is this a pendant? This pendant looks like the same one that I got from George. Hey, could you climb up here and bring that with you? Oh. I wonder who that is, huh? Are you the one that dropped this from the window? 
guess so, Jupiter. Makachan. I can hear Father shouting at you. Are you from Midius Village? That pendant is George's. Tell me about him. Oh. Yeah, of course. You're Mary, aren't you? Uh. <laughs> Don't talk in such a loud voice. I'm Jupiter. I thought that maybe you people could help me out. Or help me. Can't seem to read today. Sorry. Do you want to be together with George? Yes. If I was with him, I wouldn't want anything else in the world. Aww. Hmm. This is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Jupiter. Uh oh. Mary, are you in? Are you talking in there? Come out of there, Mary. Oh no! There's nowhere we can hide. What's wrong, Mary? Come out now. In case he comes from the next room, you can leave that way. But that way is. Well, how about we just break down the wall? Huh? What in the hell? How would we do that? <laughs> just watch. <laughs> That's Jupiter for you. <laughs> cool. You got earth-shattering strength, Jupiter. Yes, she does. <laughs> it's no big deal. Okay. You have to cover it up. Oh yeah. Will they be Will they be able to break through to come after us? No. I think this leads in the ground. Could this go all the way to the very ruins of the ancient guard? It seems to be connected all over the place. Only no one knows where the exit is. The exit to it is. Let's go underground. Huh? But it's okay. We'll find a way out somehow. Come on, let's go. Alright. Yeah, let's move before Dad comes in. Oh, Medea Sir. Oh! Premium ticket. Cool. Alright. Anything in these? No. Let's hurry and get out of here. Uh, nothing in these. Oh! What's this? Emerald earrings? Ah! That must be for Jupiter specifically. Red berries? I don't remember what those do. Or that. Huh. Uh, anyway. Let's put that, uh, those earrings on. Uh, let me move them lower. There. All set. Let's go. Let's be on our way before we're caught in here. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this place. Incredible. Oh, of course. Enemies. I don't remember you from the show. Hmm. How about... Bakering Slido Presa! I like saying the attacks. It's really fun. Surprisingly. <laughs> I don't think there's any chest or anything like that around here. If I remember correctly. Ow! Ugh, enemies again. Oops. Oh, I should have used Coconut Cyclone. Being there's multiple enemies. Then again, they hardly do any damage to me. So, never mind. Nice shot, Jupiter. <laughs> Yeah, a Yoma losing. Shocking, isn't it? Or losing to Jupiter. Shocking, isn't it? Or not? <laughs> no. Coconut Cyclone. Making so a tad faster. But it is done using sparkling white pressure. I won't lie. And Spring Thunder. Okay. Let's keep moving. Good, we are going the correct way. Oh, building. 
things. Hmm. Oh, you two again? Shoot. Perfect. Don't have to deal with them anymore. Let's see. Where are we? Huh. Ugh, besides enemy territory. They never stop. Excellent work, Jupiter. <laughs> no enemy stands a chance against Jupiter's power. Huh. Ugh. Endless enemies. But you're going down in two seconds. Hey, 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 hey. Sucker. Perfect. Oh. Oh, I'm real dream. I see. Well, I will put that on then. Perfect. There we go. I remember right, isn't there one more city? After the enemies go away. Oh not a Why does it do this? I know I've said it before, but it gets extremely annoying. And I do not know why for the life of me. So strange. Especially when it doesn't do it all the time. I swear I think I remember there's another chest like that somewhere around here. And I would like to find that before we move on. It's doing it again? Really? <sighs> Fine. Really annoying, but... I'll live with it. I do wish I knew what to do to get rid of it, though. Oh, well. Once again, I apologize for that, guys. It's so weird, especially when it doesn't do it all the time. <clears throat> See, this load is fine. This battle went... Maybe it's... No, it can't be that there's multiple enemies, because I've faced multiple enemies and it has done that before. So that's not why. Right. Weird. I really could swear there's another chest somewhere. I'm trying to remember where exactly around here. Huh. I swear I do remember there being one, though. I just can't remember where. But I swear there is. I'm trying to think where. <sighs> Die already! Quit trying to attack me, you're always gonna lose. Annoying pest. Anyway. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, go away. I won't waste any more time. I'll move on. I could swear there was, though, so, but forget it. I won't waste any more time. This is the god from the ruins you talked about. Huh? There's something written there. I wonder what it is. It's pointless. Of course I can't read it. But the mark here is the symbol of Jupiter. Really? Hmm. I keep thinking about it, but I still don't understand. Oh! Great. Hey, hey! So you got this far looking for the stone? That surely must have been a lot of trouble. 
How unfortunate that the stone wasn't here. Who are you? Soon we meet again, I will tell you. This cave will be a complete will be completely destroyed in a moment. <laughs> I recommend that you leave as soon as possible. The cave is going to collapse? It's dangerous here. Let's take shelter somewhere. Uh-oh. Yeah, she wasn't kidding, apparently. Well, well. Mary. George. Thank you, Jupiter. I'm relieved. By the way, in Mishi Village, it looks like there's something you can take to make the marriage possible in your village village's customs. Yeah. Forty years ago, there was a stone in there called Nephrite. Nephrite? Yes. It would be nice if you could take that stone from the protection god's place. Perhaps the protection god has something to do with that tree. Probably. It should be where that tree is. I see. Now, George, this is your chance. Huh? You mean, maybe I could in the stone? Yes. You can come and help me get the stone, and then a certain happy couple can come together. Well, in the meantime, I'll return home. Hang in there, George. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, looks like Jupiter was pretty much successful in her mission of love. Alright. Back to George's village we go, I guess. I will go and and I guess we'll investigate that tree. In fact, there it is. Next time, I suppose. Now, where is that in? I thought it was around here. No? Oh, this is silly. Where is it? Can't be far away. Come on now. Aha, here it is. I know it was attached to the shop building. Okay, there we are. All right. We will investigate that tree, like I said, next time. But I hope you enjoyed this episode and helping a happy couple reunite. But, till next time everyone, see you later.